and hey, and this is Francisco from Mobile Trend, and today I would like to show you three very simple ways of backing up your WhatsApp messages from your Android phone to your PC. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we continue, I would just like to briefly explain the methods that we will be going through. So method number one, we'll work through our own mobile trans software, which will be the easiest method since it's just a one-click solution to backing up all of your messages. Method number two is a more tedious method, but it involves just digging into our Android phone after plugging it onto our PC and then extracting all of the messages from there to keep them saved on our PC. Method number three is a simple email transfer and it's also one of the easier solutions. So with that said, let's go ahead and start it off with method number one. And as always, we're going to start off with method number one. And in this case, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on WhatsApp transfer over on mobile trans software itself. And now just remember that the download links to all of our software is going to be in the description. And with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and click on transfer. All well, that once you've already downloaded everything, you can just go ahead and start transferring all of your data. So with that said, once you click on transfer, you do have to click on backup WhatsApp messages, since this is the entire goal of what we're trying to do here. And then, since we're trying to transfer our data or back it up from our Google Pixel 4 all the way to our PC, we do have to give it a second just so that it's able to recognize it and make sure that you do give all of the appropriate permissions to your smartphone. So just make sure that you do that first. And then once you're ready, all that you have to do is go ahead and click on start and the process is going to begin automatically. And it's going to be natural for WhatsApp to restart itself a couple of times throughout this entire process. And if it asks you to follow these instructions, for instance, all that you have to do is go into the three dots and then go ahead and click on settings. And then from there, you're gonna to want to click on chats as it's indicating it to you and then chat backup. And you want to make sure that you can back it up first. And once you have made sure that all of this has been done correctly, go ahead and click on next. So once that process is finally completed, all that you have to do in order to verify if everything was actually successfully backed up onto your computer is just go ahead and click on view it and then it should be able to show you over here what your history is. This is going to be your WhatsApp backup and as you can see I've already done a couple of backups in the past so we can always go back to it at any time thanks to the mobile train software. And now that we're done with method number one we can go ahead and move on to method number two. And now for our next method, which is going to be method number two, this is going to be a much more direct yet a bit tedious way of actually transferring data or at the very least backing it up from your Android device to your PC. This is how it's going to be done. So you have to make sure that your, your Android device, in this case my Pixel, has to be plugged into your PC and you have to make sure that they have a proper and secure connection. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and actually dig through where our Pixel would be. In this case, we have to go over to PC and then you're going to notice that your Android device is right here and you just have to double click on it to make sure that you can navigate into the storage section itself. And then you're gonna go down to where it says WhatsApp over here. And this is going to contain all of your WhatsApp data. And then once you're here, you just have to go ahead and click on databases. And here, it's going to show you pretty much every backup that you've actually made. And since the most recent one is pro probably going to be this one over here, since we just went ahead and made this, this backup today, all that you literally have to do is click and drag this all over onto your desktop and then it's going to be saved over on that side so we're going to go ahead and click on copy just to make sure and then click on paste just to make sure that we can keep that backup and once this file is here uh, this means that all of your messages have been backed up onto your pc locally however it is worth noting that you can't actually read any of your messages from here and the only way that you could is actually by downloading a third party tool as this is going to be an encrypted format. However, this is one way of safeguarding all of your messages from WhatsApp onto your PC through method number two. And now 
we're gonna go ahead and jump into method number three. And now the last method, which is going to be method number three, is just going to require us to go onto our Android device first and tapping on the contact whose messages we actually want to back up. And this is, and this is going to be done from the WhatsApp app, so keep that in mind. And then we're going to go into the more, and then export chat, and then uh, this will allow you uh, to attach a transcript of your messages to an email, and then just send it to yourself essentially. And from there, uh, you can open it freely on your PC using a web browser and even download it to your heart contempt. And there you have it. Those are three simple methods of backing up your WhatsApp messages to your PC. And then do leave us a like and share it with anyone who could benefit from knowing about these methods. Also, don't forget to leave a comment with any kinds of questions as we will do our best to help you out. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Mobile Trends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.